Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. This is my today's subject. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a long time ago. And uh, I made watercolor image type the other day and uh, I want to try today is Procreate to make this image try some different image or illustrated image from this base photo image. Well, I like this atmosphere of uh, the model's facial expression, sort of nostalgia feeling. So let me try. Well, this is the image and uh, I'm going to duplicate layer. Then this is the base image. Rename base and also I'm gonna smudge this layer then I'm gonna just turn this one off to keep it then work on this smudge layer okay I'm gonna use uh, I usually use evolve that's a nice texture of the smudge yeah this is a texture this evolve has that's pretty neat it's kind of crayon type look isn't it just smudge it outside keep the texture of the this smudge tool and same time i can take this dust off too Now make it bigger, then get some more texture. Okay. Break the straight lines with smash tool. Nice texture. Look at this. It's so cool. Okay, now almost done for outside. Now go inside. Okay, from here, let's get it. Gradually getting to inside the model. I'm gonna make it small, smudge tool size. Okay, now then, let's see. Well, add the color. I'm going to change the rename. I'll just add color. Well, if I add color on this layer, then I'm going to change the blend mode later to normal to color, probably. Well, let's use watercolor. This one says Japanese, but uh, I'm sure you can find watercolor. Painting to watercolor. And then, as I said, some kind of a little bit desaturated blue in this here. It's still some. Yeah, you see, if I change this blend mode to color this is the one yeah add some let's see a little bit small size and change the color to a little bit dark bluer because there is a density on here that's why it shows color more so in this case I should well use same brush watercolor then on this smudge image just paint it on some density now I'm gonna just paint paint it on 
smudge image this layer directly so it shows color more in this case though I <coughs> smudged this image smudge this layer I just painted since this is too white not to show this color because it's color blend mode is color right okay I'm gonna smudge this layer also now it's gonna help smudge tool goes inside now it's blending smudged texture you see this uh, real hard to see but it does have this crayon type texture yeah I think that's nicer So here, that's what I meant. Let's have texture. This tool evolve has nice texture onto it. Look at this, just like some kind of painting. Real nice to have this texture. Well, go for it. This is pretty big size of the tool. Evolve size. Okay, now I'm going to go on to models. So make it a real small size, then outside the edge of the hat. face I go much much smaller try to smooth her out it's bigger than smooth out this grain gra grainy stuff because I shot with 35 millimeter reversal film does have grain in it so I'm gonna use smudge to smudge these grains out smooth it out bigger size A brush opacity about 40% or so just blend it in kind of grains out, smooth it out. Then I'm gonna make a little bigger size to just touch this smudge tools texture. Okay, now I'm gonna add some colors. I'm gonna make another layer. I'm gonna copy this color, duplicate, 
And then this one is this one is sky, right? And okay, now I'm gonna clear this first. Then I'm gonna paint different paint. Painting to and go with just untitled brush, which doesn't have texture. Just put the color in on this skin tone. Color goes to a little bit yellow since um, skin tone has some kind of red. Some so I'm gonna add some yellowish light color opacity about 50 percent now let's see on this color oops that's too much i mean too much that's too thin go much lighter then maybe brush opacity 30 percent just touch bigger Let's see. Mm, still have two yellowish. Go more healthy look about this skin tone. Let's see. Still has yellow. Much more orange. This one. Then a little bit bigger tone opacity. About 10-15%. more nicer lips go smaller and maybe 20% eraser to to fix this then how about eyes kind of bluish the eyeshadow goes to a little bit dark purple. Maybe go a little bit lighter here. Just a touch pinkish. Then a little bit red. Kind of too much. Yeah. Well, now, I go some colors on outside. Well, same layer on sky and the trees are same layer. I'm gonna put here, paint. This time I'm gonna use, what was it? Um, watercolor, I said, yeah. Same texture on this layer. Now I'm gonna Remain color sky watercolor. Okay, this is a brush name, right? I'm gonna use this brush. And then I add some dark green around here, smaller to add some red and tree look, some kind of brown. Then maybe there's the brown door or something. Then touch dark brownish. Okay, I'm gonna clear this with a eraser tool. This blue sky. Then I add some different color on here. Building. This is brick, so I'm going to add the color same place, uh, which is more reddish. Uh, no wonder this paintbrush is watercolor. I'm going to go back to untitle the brush. Same, no texture, just add color. This shows more nicer. Dark side has more red in it light side has more yellow in it 
Okay, now, same kind of brush. All right, now, smudge this layer again with the smudge tool, evolve, and size is pretty small. And now I'm gonna smudge this close. Okay, overall touch up now. Maybe a little bit lighter. Okay, now paint. So now go back to smudge to some smudged. Okay, I think pretty good now. Let me try once, last thing, one more thing, I want to go, you know what, when you are using this curve or some kind of adjustments, you should duplicate layer, then test it on here, then you can compare, otherwise it's kind of confusing. Okay, I'm going to smudge and uh, well, rename this curve. Okay, now I'm gonna easy for us to see layer. Then you see touch. Oops, not red again. Gamma. Lighten up. Red. Just touch up. The blue. Go down, shadow side, a little bit yellow, highlight side, a little bit bluer. It's lighting up, pretty much. Go back to gamma. Well, go down, shadow side. Only the highlight side. Now a little bit up. Okay, now we can compare to see. This is curve, this is before, this is after. More warm. Yeah, this is a little bit coolish. Okay, I like the skin tone here, so I'm gonna mask, I'm gonna make mask here, invert mask. Now I'm gonna choose the brush, soft blend is fine, and uh, I'm going to reveal this, which is, I'm going to just put the white color to reveal. So more control, I think. Let's see, here. It's reveal face. It's more warm. Warm tone, you see. A little more warm tone. Okay, now I'm gonna retouch here, smudge to, I mean uh, here, smudge image, more smoother skins with the same smudge. Well, okay, yeah, it was fine, a little bit bigger, less. I guess this one comes color, huh? Skin. Okay. I add the color, but uh, just lighten up here, smudge. Then add some warm color too. Now, and uh, also I'm going to smudge here. Mm. Well, use a brush, soft blend. Um, want some texture so smooth out on this small image. This is here, this mask. 
so which is I'm gonna reveal soft blend a little smaller to reveal this mask see more face oh this is easy to reveal you see how much revealing then just mask with black on this mask hide it okay now reveal again with white small okay oops what's this I guess I touched here this curve layer wait a minute no 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 okay I this this layer okay I got it I retouched so that's okay now finally that's it for today and uh, thank you for watching my video and I really appreciate for your support and uh, you guys have a nice day see you next time thank you again bye now ciao